meet Corliss Archer. Meet Mrs. Archer. And if you'll wait just a minute, you can meet Mr. Archer. He should be home from the office very soon. Hello, I'm home. Well, hi, Daddy. Hello, dear. Have a good day? Not bad. Say, I just heard that the house next door has been sold. I wonder who bought it. Well, I don't know. It's the first I've heard of it. A family named Wilson. They're from Indiana. They're moving in tomorrow. No. Uh, he's an engineer. He's been hired as chief engineer of the Malley Construction Company. Well, I hope he hasn't got a flock of noisy children. Oh, they have one girl. She's about my age. Daddy, when was the Battle of Waterloo? 1815. Golly, Daddy, you're so smart. You know everything. <laughs> Archer, uh, Mr. Archer. What's the matter? Yeah, women and children first. What's going on here? They're here. They're here. Who's here? Yeah, and where are they? Yeah, the Wilsons. They're the new people that bought the house next door. Oh. They just drove up. Yeah, and so did the moving band. They got all kinds of nice furniture. They got a dining room table. Little Dexter, strip. come away from that window and stop peeking. Huh? That isn't very nice, Dexter, peeking at people that way. Didn't you ever hear that curiosity killed a cat? Oh, yeah, I know that poem. Poem? Sure. There once was a cat and she said, I've got so much gossip to spread. I pry and I peek and I spy and I sneak and I tell what I know, but I'm dead. <laughs> All right, push in boots. Come away from that window. Stop peeping. Well, okay, Mr. Archer. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do anything wrong. You want to watch some television, Dex? Sure. Right now, thanks, dear. nothing wrong with being curious. If Columbus hadn't been curious about what was on the other side of the ocean, there wouldn't be any New York. And the Yankees would have to play in Spain against a team of bullfighters. And that would really be curious. <laughs> Golly, Mom, wait till the Wilsons taste that wonderful soup of yours. Will they ever be glad they moved next door? Well, I think they'll appreciate it. They must be exhausted from moving. And I'm sure Mrs. Wilson hasn't had a chance to do any cooking yet. She couldn't even have unpacked her dishes yet. Oh, I don't know. I saw one dish over there. It looked pretty good. Huh? Their daughter. <laughs> no, listen, don't start getting any ideas. Oh, don't worry, Corliss. You know you're the only girl in the world for me. Oh, really, Dex? Oh, sure. Besides, I'm too smart to go playing around with other girls. I know a guy that's kissing two girls at the same time is liable to wind up with a pucker on his face and no place to put it. <laughs> you just better remember that. You shouldn't act so possessive, Corliss. Golly, Mom, you just don't understand how to get a man. Hey, what do you think I am? <laughs> One little touch of pepper and the soup will be ready for the new neighbors. You know, the Wilsons look like nice people. I wonder if he plays cribbage. Why? Well, he could join Bill and me in our weekly sessions. Be kind of nice, you know, the three of us living in a row. Mr. Wilson wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> You and Bill have been playing that game for 15 years, and neither one of you have ever won more than 14 cents. Well, it would be nice to be friendly. After all, having nice, friendly neighbors makes life pleasant and interesting and spicy. <laughs> Man, that's going to be the sneezing of soup. 
Instead of serving it with napkins, Mrs. Archer should serve it with handkerchiefs. <laughs> This is Dexter Franklin. He lives next door to me on the other side. He's my boyfriend. Hello, Dexter. Hi. Gee, how convenient having such a nice boyfriend living right next door. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to ask you in, but you can imagine how it is inside with packing boxes and everything. But, oh, come on and sit down. Okay. okay. Now, what are your high school in? Dex, huh? I'd like to let a lady sit down first. Oh. Actually, I'm pretty tired of this. Yeah. Don't you want to sit down? No, it's all right. Oh. I'm too tired to stand. Yeah. This moving something. Yeah. You know what it is. We had to pack everything ourselves and then trying to get a man to... Oh, I can imagine, sure. Mm -hmm. Isn't there someone going into your house? I don't see anyone. Oh, which one is your house? That one. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah. Say, do you know how to ice skate? Oh, sure, I love skating. Oh, swell. Well, there's a rink in this town that's open all year round, except in the summer. And a whole gang of us go skating every Thursday. Maybe they'd like to join us. I don't think she'd like it, Dexter. Why not? Dex, why don't you go in the house and see if you can help Mr. and Mrs. Wilson unpack? I think it would be very neighborly. Oh, sure. You know what they say, love thy neighbor. Um, Dexter and I go steady. Oh, that's nice. Dexter doesn't look at any other girls. Gee, how lucky for you. So if, if any new girls would move into the neighborhood and, and get any ideas about Dexter, well, they'd soon think differently. That's all right, Corliss. I understand. Thanks. Well, where do you want me to start? Well, just anywhere. Why don't you start with these cartons? One's filled with dishes, the other's pots and pans. They both go in the kitchen. Oh, sure. Which one's got the dishes, which one's got the pots and pans? I don't know. Well, it doesn't make any difference, does it? I mean, after all, they all have to be unpacked, don't they? Say, you know, it's silly, don't it? Just take them out separately and carry them in there. I'll carry the whole carton. <laughs> Efficiency, you know. Yes, sir. And just to... <clears throat> Pardon me. <laughs> have dishes. Look, young man. Uh, I... Come in. Oh. Hello. Oh, hi, hello. I'm Mrs. Archer. How do you do? I see you've met Dexter already. Oh, yes. We've... Uh... Had the pleasure. Well, I know how wearing it must be to move, so I brought you some hot soup. Oh, that was sweet of you, Mrs. Archer. We, we'd love it. Yes, if we just had some dishes to put it in. Well, we still have a few plates left. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I see them. Uh, don't worry, I'll get them. Uh, here we are. I got the plates. Uh, don't you worry about a thing, Mrs. Wilson. That's for the soup. I got a couple of spoons of all these. <laughs> Could have happened to anybody. Uh, I'll, I'll get some more dishes. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll get them. I suppose this is the only place we have to eat right now. Dexter, will you order this for Oh, sure. Glad to, Mrs. Wilson. I just... <laughs> and this? Well, I'm sure you'll be settled and unpacked before long. And in the meantime, if there's anything that we can do or anything that you need... Oh, no. We'll be all right. We wouldn't want to look cold. Uh oh mm. uh, Oh. I think this is fun, just like camping, you know. That soup looks delicious. It sure is welcome. It certainly is. We haven't eaten all day. Oh, Mrs. Archer makes the best soup you ever tasted. The only kind of soup she can't make is oxtail soup. You see, the trouble is, every time the water boils, the ox takes his tail out. <laughs> yeah, come in. I'd like you to meet my husband, uh, Harry, our new neighbors, the Wilsons. How do you How do? do, you do? How do, you do? I hope you'll be very happy here. Thank you. Uh, Oh, please, sit down. I see you're having some of my wife's famous soup. Uh, we were about to. Well, please go ahead. <clears throat> I just came over to ask you about cribbage. Cribbage? <laughs> yes, the card game. Uh, you know, my next door neighbor on the other side, Bill Franklin and I play every week, and we'd be very happy to have you join us. Of course, we're not very good. Holy cow, you should be. You've been playing forever. My pop says the only way you can beat him is by cheating. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I was saying, if you care to... Oh, no, but please, go ahead and with your eating. Mother, I simply can't... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know we had company. Now, Mrs. and Mrs. Archer, this is my daughter, Betty Jane. How, How do you do, 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 Betty Jane? Well, please, taste that soup. Well, I think we'd better go, Harry. I think the Wilsons have a lot of things to do. Come along, Dexter. 
Well, I'm helping him unpack, Mrs. Archie. I'll be there in a minute. No, no, uh, Dexter, uh, you've done enough already. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you. <coughs> oh. <laughs> it was an accident. It could happen to anyone. <laughs> Mind, dear, we had to get a new set anyway. Sit down and eat your soup. No, I guess we'd better before he comes back and breaks these. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a practical joke is this supposed to be? Well, I fail to see the humor. What kind of people are these? Well, I think their daughter's crazy. She accused me of trying to steal her boyfriend. And who wants him? Well, I don't. Not around here. He broke those dishes on purpose. He must have. Nobody can be that clumsy. I've never heard of such neighbors. Oh, what awful people. Yes? Oh, oh, hello, Mr. Melly. Yeah, we got here all right, but I'm not sure we're going to like the house. Neighbors. A family named Archer. Well, for no reason at all, their daughter came over here and accused Betty Jane of trying to steal her boyfriend. Then they sent the boyfriend over here to help us. Nice. He broke nearly all our dishes. And Mrs. Archer sent some soup over to us. Well, you should have tasted it. I think she tried to poison us. <laughs> Archer? No, I don't know what kind of business he's in. I, I think he's a card sharp. He tried to rook me into a crooked card game. <laughs> And now, back to Meet Corliss Archer. I don't think we'd ever have gotten home, Harry, if you hadn't picked us up. I'll pay. Boy, this shopping is work. Yeah. So is getting the money to pay for the shopping. Well, that's different. A man has to work. Why? So his wife can go shopping. You know, Corliss, that would be an absolutely ridiculous statement, except for one thing. What? It's true. Seen the Wilsons today? No, we've been too busy. Golly, I think they're nice people, don't you? I think they like us, too. Well, we certainly did our best to make them feel welcome. Why shouldn't they like us? Good heavens, what is that? Hey, Jane didn't tell me she sang. Well, that's not singing. Sounds more like someone dropped the piano on her foot. How is today? Is this going to go on? Well, I'll have a little talk with Mr. Wilson. Oh, don't start an argument, dear. We don't want to lose their friendship. Oh, there won't be any argument. I'm just trying to do something nice for his family. How do you mean, his family, then? Well, Betty Jane is part of the family, isn't she? Yes. Well, I'm just trying to protect her. After all, if her singing sounds like this over here, imagine how painful it must be to her if she's in the same room. <laughs> yes? Mr. Wilson? Yes? Uh, do you remember me, your next door neighbor, Harry Archer? Yes? Uh, it's about your daughter's voice. I, yes? It's a lovely voice. Uh, it, it has a great future, I'm sure, and I, I realize that she must practice. And I was afraid that the noise of our television set might disturb her, so I was thinking that if she were to practice on the other side of the house... No. no I should think you'd want a lot of noise. What? So the police couldn't hear you run out the back door when they come in the front door to raid that crooked card game of yours. <laughs> well... Now maybe those pests next door will leave us alone. Oh, no. Can't that man understand when he's not wanted? Don't wanted. lose your temper, dear. Hi, I came over the minute I finished my homework. I want to see if there's anything I can do to help. <laughs> Why do they keep bothering us? Why are they persecuting us like this? Please, darling, try and control yourself. Oh. oh I'll show that little monster. Go away before I call the police! Stop coming around here! Mrs. Wilson, why is Mr. Wilson stomping on the milkman's foot? Oh, sorry! <laughs> Mr. Wilson never before got milk with such a kick to it. Actually, what he got was more of a milk punch. The man's utterly and completely out of his mind. Now, dear, don't get excited. 
Don't get excited. With what's going on next door? We've got a lunatic living there, a dangerous maniac who assaults milkmen, is liable to come after us with a knife when we're sleeping. You tell me not to get excited. Oh, that dog. I've seen bubonic plague germs that were less dangerous. That dog is a menace. Nobody in the neighborhood can touch him except Dexter, and he lets Dexter pat him. But I think it's dangerous. It certainly is. It's very dangerous. We might get hurt being so close. But I'm not going to do anything about it. I've got troubles of my own. That dog can take care of himself. <laughs> you mean it's dangerous for Dexter? The whole situation is utterly intolerable. Now, Harry, getting excited isn't going to help. We've got to think of some way to persuade him to have Betty Jane practice in the back room. And you've got to get friendly enough with him to at least discuss it. No, I suppose you're right. Mr. Archer, Mr. Archer, something's got to be done about that dog. He's dangerous. I thought you and he were good friends. Not anymore. <laughs> If you want to know what people are really like, watch how dogs act around them. That dog of the Wilson certainly uncovered some of Dexter's secrets. I don't know. Maybe we've made a terrible mistake. Maybe we've misjudged them. But you could have knocked me over with a putter when I found out that Archer is chairman of the membership committee of the golf club. Dear, just because he's a member of the golf club doesn't mean he's all right. Anybody who plays golf is all right. <laughs> and that's carrying a new golf phobia a little far. Well, all I know is that if I can't play golf in this town, I'll commit Harry Carey with a three iron. And with Archer, chairman of the membership committee, I've got as much chance of getting into that club as Dracula has of being elected honorary president of the Girl Scouts. Well, getting excited isn't going to help anything. What you have to do is find some way of, of making up with him. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. We'd better make up with him. Let's go over there right now. All right. Darling, what's the matter? That dog got loose and I had to chase him about 20 blocks. What's that? The seat of Mr. Archer's pants. <laughs> now there's an embarrassing situation. Well, that's what happens when a man refuses to face facts and turns his back on his problems. <laughs> hello, Mr. Wilson. Oh, hello, Mr. Archer. I didn't know you were a golfer. Oh, yes, this is my game. If I ever get this house straightened out, I'm going to start playing regularly again. Uh, do you play? Well, I play at it. Uh, Hank, what do you shoot? Well, I, I manage to break a hundred every now and then. Mm -hmm. How about you? Oh, about the same, except I don't manage to break it as often as I used to. You know, old age creeping up on me. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, my neighbor Bill Franklin says I ought to give up golf. What? Give up golf? Yeah, he says it's not safe at my age for me to get so close to a hole in the ground. <laughs> Say, look, why don't you join our country club? Well, well, well thank you, Mr. Archer. Well, don't mention it, neighbor. I'll be seeing you. Yeah. Yippee! Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Archer. <laughs> That Mr. Wilson must be quite a golfer. He almost made a hole in one. One of his neighbors, that is. I won Wilson over. I charmed him. I can believe that, dear. Golly, Daddy, you're wonderful. Mr. Archer, there's still one thing I don't understand. Yes, what? Well, if you won him over... Yes? ...and you charmed him... Yes? Why'd he pop you on the noggin with a golf ball? <laughs> that was an accident, Dexter. Well, anyway, they got rid of the dog, and Betty Jane is singing in the back of the house. Peace, it's wonderful. Yeah. You know, I think that Wilson and I may be pretty good friends. He invited me duck hunting this weekend. You, duck hunting? Yeah, I used to be a pretty good shot. <laughs> yeah, Perry, but you can't shoot ducks with marbles. All right, make fun. But I'll bring back a brace of ducks. You wait and see. Well, Bill is the one that ought to go. He loves hunting. My pop's going out of town this weekend on business. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, but I'd love to go. I've had a lot of Boy Scout training. I could be real helpful. Besides, I'd like to make it up to Mr. Wilson for breaking all those dishes. Well, we'll see what we can work out. But uh, right now, if you want to be helpful, would you take this ice bag out to the refrigerator and fill it up? Roger. I made up with Betty Jane. Oh, that's nice. I guess I was wrong, thinking she was trying to steal Dexter. Anyway, I don't think he'd leave me. Oh? No, I guess he loves me too much. We were really made for each other. He knows that. He knows I'm the only girl for him. Anyway, he knows what I'd do to him if he left me. 
Yeah, Mr. Archer used up all the ice cubes in the refrigerator. Oh? Yeah, and I had to cap off this thing. I was going to throw the water out. But then I did some quick thinking. I said, this water is still cold, right? And I thought, cold water is better than nothing, right? Right. Well, that was real good thinking. <laughs> there you are, Mr. Archer. <laughs> I guess I forgot to screw the top back on. Right? Right. <laughs> Dexter would make quite a nurse. He'd be a great asset to the medical profession. Yes, sir, with all the damage he does, he'd keep doctors working 24 hours a day. Ah, nothing like getting up before the sun. Makes a man feel great, invigorated, really alive. Mm. What's the matter, boy? You uh, feeling a little sleepy? No. Well, that's good. I'm not feeling anything. Now, how about you, Archer? Feeling fit? Good, good. Well, let's uh, settle down and uh, get comfortable. Wait for the birds. Mr. Archer. Mr. Archer. Phone the, uh, the office. Tell them I'm sick. <laughs> Sit down, Archer, and make yourself comfortable. You've got to be very quiet. Don't scare the birds. Give me that duck call. This thing's broken. Don't worry. Quack, 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 quack. Here, ducky, ducky. Down to your teeth. <laughs> oh, darling, I had the funniest dream. I dreamed I was duck hunting. <laughs> Taking you duck hunting was a dream of mine, not yours. Sorry, old man. hunting would never keep the family fed. Any duck that would fly slow enough for them to shoot would be too old to eat. Did you get any ducks? Nope. Oh, what a shame. It's all right. Any ducks that would fly slow enough for me to hit would be too old to eat. Well, did you have a good time? Well... Anyway, Wilson had his day in the woods. I proved I'm a good sport, and there'll be no more yowling from that daughter of his. Why don't you go upstairs, Daddy? Oh, I haven't got the strength. Just go away and let me sleep. Just be quiet. <laughs> Loud. Oh, no! <laughs> Something's got to be done, like... Right. And I know what. Yes? What? You move. Oh, now, look here, Wilson. I'm a patient man, but yes, after well, all... I'm a patient man, too. But you are not a patient man. Uh, uh, hi. Hi, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Archer. A new family moved in around the corner. I'm going over there to see what I can do to help. <laughs> oh, a 
poor soul. What'd he say? No. <laughs> oh, 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 I... oh, 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 I'm sorry. I, uh... Never mind, Dexter. Run along before you do any more damage. Oh, okay, but I'm sorry. I really am. Dexter! Dexter, watch it! The ladder! My car! The window! <laughs> Well, I'm not alone. I mean, you've got him too. Old man, you need all the friends you can get. I'll stand by you, neighbor. Mm -hmm.